Hello everyone, it's Cress, aka Taka, and it is time for a rummage sale and thrift finds haul. And this covers the last two weeks about, so that would be like uh, June 20th through July 3rd. Because I only found a few things last week and it really wasn't enough to make a video on Friday night before work. So, so I had a few disappointments when I got home when I found some things were more chipped or damaged than I thought. But they'll still look cute on the shelf. Um, so, one of my finds this week was this cute little print. Um, I couldn't resist buying it. I haven't found out if it sells well yet. It's definitely an old vintage frame. Uh, I paid a dollar. But, this tiger reminded me of Mom's TT toy tiger from a story. Although, you can see his tiger's missing an eye. But that reminded me of a Stife Tiger so much that I had to get it even if I didn't end up selling it. So, somehow I think he has the slightly smaller version in the picture, although it does take up most of his leg, and this is a rather big animal. But those eyes are what really sold me, is that his eye is definitely a Stife eye in this, and that nose definitely looks like the wide, broadband nose of a Stife. So, uh, the artist's name is Ann Oliban. Which I did see some other uh, Oliban things, but I didn't see this particular print. Uh, today, although I'm kind of mad she wrote on the inside of the box, I got a set of 12. In the original box, 12 Days of Christmas mugs. So the box does have some damage, but when do you find one, all 12, still with their box unused she bought them to use and then never took them out she said but so this one's the third day of christmas my true love gave to me three french hens so that's apparently a french hen but they're all in beautiful condition here's the partridge in a pear tree and of course, since most of these are wild birds, if I do end up deciding to sell them, any a portion of the sale would go to uh, either Upaws or Sunrise Animal Sanctuary. The birds are a little tricky because usually I'll go with anything pet themed goes to Upaws. So most of these are wild birds, though. So I think most of it would go to Sunrise. But you know, like I sold Tweety Bird the other day, and so that went to Upaws. She's to. He's definitely a pet. But for four dollars, even if we end up using them, it's a gorgeous set. Then my splurge for myself. We went to the antique store yesterday, which we haven't done in a long while with COVID and everything. And I decided since I turned 40 on Monday, I could splurge on something. So this cost me $12.95 plus tax. And it is in perfect condition. It is a it's a little dirty in spots, but the paint's still intact, so it's a Fenton bird, and it does glow. It's custard glass, uranium glass, and it is signed C. Schaefer, which I think may even be the same name as the vase I bought at a rummage sale. Uh, but So this is for me to keep. It's for my collection. It'll fit in my small display area, but normally I don't pay over ten dollars for a figurine unless I'm keeping it <laughs> and it's probably got a glow then as well um, so similarly this is a genuine alabaster I paid two dollars for it I think the last one I sold that was pink alabaster I sold for 18 plus shipping but it's just a cute little made in Italy, uh, Italy uh, floral design Although it doesn't glow like the other, it does have a really cool glow to it. I don't know if it transfers. It glows almost blue with the purple, but it doesn't glow purple, which is interesting to me. So it must be something with the alabaster that reacts to it. Because it doesn't glow green like the uranium, even though this is basically that same green cut as the custard glass was. But, so that's definitely in the cell pile. Alright, how am I going to organize this? Oh, uh, this I paid two fifty for, which I probably wouldn't for a normal napkin thing. And I'm hoping the little bit of stain, like marks on it, clean up nicely. I haven't tried yet, but this is Butterfly Meadow by Lennox, and this can sell for twenty five to forty five dollars. So I figured I'd give it a go. 
Oh, oh it says a bumblebee on it. Not just butterflies. Uh, we'll go over here. Got this for two dollars today at the this and that thrift store. Uh, he is definitely crazed galore. So definitely vintage. He's a little beagle. I think he was a mold kit, but I can't find which mold he was. I don't see the mold mark. You know whether it was Atlantic mode Byron or one of those, but. I loved how someone tried to draw on the little belt buckle and they were a little off on their dimensions. But beagles are good. Gently down you go. Then I thought this was awesome. Look, the lid is still with it for the mug mates. They're never with them anymore. So this one has beautiful florals and butterflies. So kind of was getting a theme in the last two weeks between florals and butterflies. And... So it says pansies stand for thought, carnations stand for sweetness, chrysanthemums stand for kindness, and the top says roses stand for remembrance, thinking of you. <clears throat> All right. This is a little dirty, and I do not know if it's going to clean up or not, but I have a similar mug that... My mom had, but that our dog lady would literally drink coffee out of as a coffee hound. So if I can't get it to clean up, I may use it as a, yeah, a display in the garden, but still have the hound face as a representative of my lady because it was her garden. She loved going out to the garden all the time. And no, I would only do kid stuff for the dog. It, it was the one thing when we adopted Lady that we found her last owner must have fed her coffee because anytime anyone had coffee, her she was right there. <laughs> Got this Robin Hood Hazel Atlas mug, uh, milk glass, um, at the same place I got the 12 Days of Christmas glasses. So I paid a buck for this. You got like Briar Tuck, Robin Hood. And Little John. That is not what I picture when I picture of Little John at all. Um, I haven't priced this yet. But I won't be mad if it takes a little bit to sell and can just sit and display for a bit. Because the last Robin Hood thing I had was that teapot. Sadler teapot. That sold. And then at that same sale, the lady just threw in this bell for me. It's technically a bell, but it's also like a shot glass measured hat. So it's like some weird combo of a leprechaun and a snowman looking thing. Like someone had some snowman bells left over and they're like, let's make something for uh, St. Patty's Day. And so it'll look great on my bar. It's so hilarious, though. It says a measure of cheer on top. So I feel like, though, it was someone's craft project where they turned the the snowman into it because originally it says poinsettia studios california so i'm pretty sure this had like poinsettias on it before but they turned him into some mad leprechaun which i just think is awesome <laughs> sit uh found this today for a buck it is an ma hadley cow wall plaque or you could use it as an ornament on your tree although you have to have really good leaves because that's at least an ounce. But I did well with my Hadley ring holder, so thought I'd try that for a buck. And reach back. I gotta try and clean these. There's a little schmutz on them, and I think some goo gone will cure it. They are Snoopy's Kitchen. And then you have Lucy serving. Uh, something and Charlie Brown running with a spoon to get it so they were 50 cents each they're kind of somewhere between a juice glass and a water glass size depending on how much juice you like then I found these for oh what must be 50 cents total because it was half off at St. Benny's and Ishpeming Trying to remember if any of that was Ishbring. So I probably only paid a quarter for that flower mug. But I did sell a Canadian goose one. Unfortunately, the person got confused and didn't read about, you know, uh, of course, the hanger was 
device was not in it. And ironically, I also found a hanger, <laughs> ornament hanger that day. So, but if I do decide to sell this, I will list it completely separate. Uh, but I only paid a quarter and it uh, says made in India, little brass piece. But so this one, these are by Big Sky Carvers. Uh, this one's the Mallard Duck. And this one's a cute little uh, puppy. Oh, this one still has a hook on it. And these are both by Jane Shaw Beasley, which is what the last one was. So this one's titled Golden Retriever. Okay, and then I got some glass things for a quarter each at a rummage sale. So this is a little, you know, owl frosted glass kind of look. It is actually a Fenton, which I was surprised about when I got to the car. Uh, then I got this, which I just think it's, you know, Chinese made glass, you know, going off, you know, paperweight. But it was a cute little unicorn for a quarter. And then this looks like a cute little hound dog. With that control bubble effect but i don't see anything under the 25 cent thing uh then we went to the thriftish store while we were at the festival of treasures and i bought these and a pillowcase uh because i was so happy to see him open after 60 months he's only he won't be open next time i go to town it's gonna take a few more months to get fully open but um, I got these cute lusterware pieces. There, one was a dollar twenty-five, one was a dollar seventy-five. But look, the sugar bowl still has its lid. Uh, it's hand painted, made in Japan, and it's just this, you know, peach orangey lusterware with these bronzy golden details. It's definitely leaning more towards the bronzy side of the gold, but it does look tarnished. So I'm wondering if this was originally like bright gold because this side which is obviously a very similar pattern is much more gold than bronze so I'm wondering if I can somehow clean that tarnish up or not or I probably won't touch it I'll probably just mention it in the listing and go you know you can tar polish it when you get it but they definitely look related <laughs> you know they definitely look like they were made together they both have the same made in Japan mark on the bottom. And I think the only thing wrong with this is that there is a giant chip in the lid. So that's a little rough, but it still has the lid that covers it. So if you just wanted them for displaying, um, it would be fine. All right. And these are my two. I got really mad at myself when I was checking out and I noticed the damage, but I was already paying but there are prayer uh, ladies and it looks like they've both been beheaded at some point and with the lighting in the store I didn't notice till I got closer to the sunlight but they'll still look cute up on my shelf I mean I paid 250 for each of them which paying up slightly um, they are marked UNESCO one says we give you thanks for all your gifts one says give us our daily bread and likewise I thought I had to take the napkin holder home with me, even though I'd seen this chip. But her head looks like it hasn't been reattached. Um, and she has a dinner prayer on her that says, Be present at our table, Lord, be here and everywhere adored. These morsels bless and grant that me may feast in paradise with the Amen. I know they, they are a thing with the vintage, but they're probably going to end up now being display pieces in my kitchen above my oven I will make back my money from what I spent at that store between the dog and the Hadley cow thing I got oh and I mentioned I got a pillowcase when I went to this and that I couldn't resist Garfield with the rainbow I was just sad there weren't two of them and yes I'll still actually use this and I just I get to sleep on my new mattress tonight people I'll let you know how my wear it goes I'm gonna I'll do a review of it later. She said, likewise, I found another pillowcase this week and I only figured out when I got home that's probably for a king pillowcase, but I suppose it's better to be bigger than smaller. But it's very pretty floral, but it's that 
beautiful percale material where it's like half cotton, half polyester. It's like my favorite thing of vintage fabric feel, but I only paid a quarter for it. So if I just, and let's see, I did get another angel. I, this is the one angel I left behind out of those Lefton angels where they were all playing musical instruments because this was not Lefton, I could tell. But I only paid a dollar instead of the two in the mark. It has a faded Made in Japan sing sticker and a KW1929 on it. But she's very adorable playing her triangle. I was willing to pay a dollar, not two. And then this was 75 cents at St. Vinny's. And I got one of these at Salvation, and it sold decently. Uh, so there might be a little potpourri left in it that I have to get rid of. I try not to get scented things, but her hat comes off to put the potpourri in. And I got this adorable Mickey Mouse table thing. Um, it's Fourth of July, not Christmas. So we, I will save this till I am used it at least one year you know like last year we put bugs bunny archery i have to list him for christmas in july soon now that my basement's back to being mine now that the new central air and heat are in yay but it's a little tabletop carousel with mickey so i was like for four dollars it's supposed to go up and down looks on the side although it looks like you could use it on your treetop as well if you want it but it's made as either a treetop or a table piece so since we already have a santa mr christmas to use next year my my weeping angel tree topper is getting a couple years off all right this is one of my last week finds i paid a dollar and the thing i love about these banks this one I'm a little sad. It's actually marked First National, so it must have been a giveaway thing. But the wheels actually work on them. So a kid could actually play and not just put his money in. Although, you have to totally unscrew it to get the money back out. So it's technically a bank and a toy in one. And it says it's a 1985 or 65. Hold on. Probably better if I, like... <sighs> I think that's a 65, but then when you look at the box, like, it came in the models of 53MG. Oh, my mom would have loved that one. Uh, 1953 Corvette, definitely not Corvette, definitely not 1921 model Ford A, definitely not 1930 Duesenberg, 1950 Chevrolet, or 26 Ford, definitely not Ford panel truck, or Stanley Steamer, or even a Lincoln Continental, or Jaguar, or Mack truck, or Volkswagen Beetle. Another, and then we got a Lincoln, a Buick, a Ford Thunderbird. No, the tires aren't right for a Ford Thunderbird. Yeah, it's not even listed on the box. Like seriously, there's all these examples of what it could be in the box, and it's not. Because <laughs> that's either 65. I, my brain is not processing. Oh yeah, it's a Mustang. There's a Mustang symbol, but there's no Mustang option on the box, which I thought was funny. Uh, then this is literally my last minute grade but for, you know, what half a quarter is. You know, usually they just total it and divide it by two, but get off my ass. Mm -hmm. That that might even go to my office. That might. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to get into, like, the weird category of stuff where I took a chance kind of thing. All right, this I grabbed from a freebie box. It's an owl, a Disney owl, and I think it's one of the owls from either Fox and the Hound. It's definitely not owl from Winnie the Pooh. But for free, I grabbed him. For a quarter, I got some stained glass pieces, whether they're real stained glass or not. And will be seen shortly. All right. A little parrot. I assumed there was plastic or glass on those sides earlier, but uh, a little boy. I have this as my, an ornament on my tree. Rainbow and seagull. 
Oh, the little girl to go with the little boy. That's nice. And a bless this house. Sometimes you just have to go for stuff. Okay, on the uh, weird scale of you must just grab it because it's weird. I paid $1.50 for this cat holding a fish pottery bell. And uh, I was trying to see if it was signed. It's made out of red pottery too, so I can't believe I can't find a signature on here anywhere. It's a little dirty. I'll have to clean it up, but weird sells. And similarly, I normally I wouldn't pay two twenty five for each of them. I would have expected one to be cheaper, but these little figural things with weird breasts on them and um, kind of got an angle on their heads like Picasso paintings. I don't know. I, I paid two twenty five each, which may have been overpaying. But it's so weird, I wanted to research it more later, and there's like no marks. I couldn't look it up, so I don't know if these are just cheap knockoffs sold in a souvenir shop somewhere where they're trying to go off of it, like if they're just meant to be figurals, if they're supposed to hold something, don't know. And then I got pins, which I saved till last, so if you don't want to look at pins... Uh, my links will be down below for my Etsy and eBay stores of Trash Couture Treasures. Okay, little angel. It helps if you don't poke a hole in the bag with your thing. So these two were 50 cents, so they were a quarter a piece. I think I got these ones last week. This is can also be a pendant, this pin. I think it was originally a pendant and someone glued on says Avon 3 inch and then like a little Avon angel pin as well. And for what was a quarter got this random angel pin and a little uh, reindeer. And this pin, which you got me to buy it, because it says it is sterling silver. And I swear this says the Swan Boats is the company. So it's, it's definitely a Swan Boat. When I looked it up, this might actually be the center of one, and it might have had a circle at one point. But I'm pretty well, sure this will still sell well, as it's nice and good quality silver. And then for 50 cents, I grabbed... This pile, because I thought this globe looked interesting. And let's see. Oh, look, I should wear this tomorrow. Statue of Liberty pin. And then no backings to these, but they're earrings. They're really quite cute, actually, to see what metal they're made of. But they're little, like, fat owls. And then a little American flag pin. Kind of funny, I found those last weekend instead of this weekend, but these definitely look like they were earrings and they're missing the backings. But they are cute little fat owls. <laughs> See? All right, well, that is it for the last two weeks. Um, we'll see how next week goes. Thanks for watching. Bye.